John had always been fascinated by the occult. He spent hours reading books on demonology, witchcraft, and other dark arts. He had never believed in the existence of demons or other supernatural entities, but he found the idea of them intriguing nonetheless. He was always on the lookout for new books or artifacts that could help him learn more about the world of the dark arts. One day, while wandering through the city, he stumbled upon an old bookstore. The shop was small and dimly lit, and the air inside was musty and stale. But John felt a strange energy coursing through him as he entered. He browsed through the shelves, and his eyes fell upon an old leather-bound book. It was titled The Grimoire of the Damned, and it had an ominous aura that drew him in. John knew he had to have it. He approached the counter, and the bookstore owner warned him against buying it. That's not a book for the likes of you, he said. But John was determined. He paid for the book and left, eager to start reading. That night, John sat in his dimly lit living room, poring over the pages of the grimoire. As he read, he felt a strange energy coursing through him. His heart raced, and his palms grew sweaty. Suddenly, the room grew colder, and the candle flickered. John heard a faint whispering that seemed to come from the book itself. He put the book down, unnerved, and went to bed. The next morning, John felt different. He felt stronger, more powerful. He felt like he could do anything he wanted. But the feeling was quickly replaced by fear as he realized that he was not alone in his apartment. The shadows seemed to move, and he heard whispers again. John tried to shake off the feeling, but it persisted. Days passed, and John's fear grew. The whispers grew louder, and he saw strange figures in the shadows. He tried to ignore them, but they became more and more persistent. One night, John couldn't take it anymore. He decided to perform a ritual he had read about in the grimoire. He lit candles, drew a circle, and recited the words from the book. Suddenly, the air grew thick and a figure appeared in the circle. It was a demon, and John felt a mix of fear and excitement. The demon promised him power and riches beyond his dreams, but there was a price. John would have to offer up his soul in exchange. John hesitated. He knew the risks, but the temptation was too great. He accepted the demon's offer, and his life changed forever. He became wealthy, powerful, and influential, but he also became a slave to the demon's will. He was haunted by nightmares and visions of the demon's realm. As time passed, John grew tired of his bargain. He wanted out, but he knew that the demon would not let him go easily. He turned to the grimoire once more, searching for a way to break the pact. He discovered a ritual that would banish the demon from his life, but it was dangerous and required sacrifice. John knew he had no other choice. He performed the ritual, and the demon was cast out of his life. But the price was high. John lost everything he had gained, and he was left with nothing but regret and a sense of emptiness. John realized that the grimoire was not just a book. It was a gateway to a realm of darkness and evil that he had underestimated. He burned the book, hoping to destroy its power forever. But he knew that the memory of his bargain with the demon would haunt him for the rest of his life. Months went by, and John tried to forget the past. He focused on his work, his friends, and his hobbies. 
but the memories and nightmares kept coming back. He knew he had to do something to make amends for his past mistakes. One day, he heard about a group of demon hunters who were dedicated to fighting the forces of evil. He contacted them and offered his services. At first, they were skeptical, but John convinced them of his sincerity. He joined their cause and dedicated his life to fighting the demons he had once served. The demon hunters taught John everything they knew about the dark arts. He learned how to identify and track demons, how to protect himself from their powers, and how to banish them to their own realm. He became a skilled fighter and a valuable asset to the group. Years went by, and John became known as one of the best demon hunters in the world. He traveled the globe, fighting the forces of evil wherever they appeared. He helped countless people who had been affected by demons, and he saved many lives. John knew that he could never undo the mistakes of his past, but he was determined to make up for them. He had learned that true power came not from making deals with demons, but from using his skills and knowledge to help others. He had found a purpose in life, and he was grateful for the chance to make a difference. In the end, John knew that his journey would never truly be over. The demons would always be out there, lurking in the shadows, waiting for their chance to strike. But he was no longer afraid. He had faced his fears and had emerged stronger and wiser. He had found a way to use his fascination with the occult for good and he knew that he would continue to fight until his dying breath. As John looked back on his life, he realized that his story was a cautionary tale. He had been seduced by the promise of power and wealth, and he had paid the price. But he had also found redemption. He had learned that true power came from within, and that the only way to defeat the darkness was to shine a light on it. John's legacy lived on through the demon hunters he had trained and through the countless lives he had touched. He had turned his obsession with the occult into a force for good and he had shown that even the darkest of paths could lead to redemption.